Hello children of the universe and welcome back to my channel Makeup and Science. My name is Darky and today I am doing a first impressions of Lethal Cosmetics Wild Flower Palette and this is what it looks like. It is um, like a sister palette to the Night Flower Palette um, which I've done a full review of and I'll leave it um, either in the cards or you know linked down below so you can check that out and this is what it looks like um it's very pink purple leaning there's lots of beautiful shimmers in there that shift colors and yeah wonderful buttery mattes so if you love lethal cosmetics or if you just love makeup and want to learn more about an indie brand sit back relax and we'll get into it and before I forget, I also did get from the collection their shimmery blush um, in dandelion, which is obviously very yellow. And I got one of their lip products in Hydra. So that's what I'm wearing here. So yes, let's get into the show. Hi, so I'm, I'm honestly way too cold to sit in the study um, or to wear better clothing to do this video. I just haven't worn makeup for a really long time and I want to, I just want to try this palette out. I really want to try this palette out. So I'm here with my cat. Hello fish. On the couch with a quilt and I'm just going to try keep warm whilst I do this so it's a bit hard because I'm using the front facing camera on my phone and yeah it looks weird like looking at the camera but I'm over here anyway let's just get into it so I'm just putting it on the Kaleidos um, skin tone activator which is the primer and I'll just show you some swatches I took of the palette um it's very pink leaning um and obviously it's got lots of like multi chromes and duo chromes in the palette so it's gonna be fun playing with all the colors and all the combinations um but there's just some colors that are really popping out to me and i can't wait to play with them and I'm going to do those colors today and I have no idea how the look's going to turn out I think it's going to be pretty crazy but it'll be fun it'll be fun also I'm sorry if you can hear the cat door a lot as well as the cats come in and out um I used to record in this area but like I had my computer set up and it's much better on the computer obviously but um I'm just too cold. And I don't want to turn on the heater in there because it's going to be really loud. So I figured this is a good way to compensate. Uh, I did my facial before we started. And just let that sit for like an hour or so. And now I'm going to get into the eyeshadows. So the colours that I really want to try is this neon pink. So this is actually is UV reactive. Um, this green, um, I know it shifts, I think it's green to lavender. Um, this purple maybe, and this blue. So I'm just gonna jump right into the look and hope for the best. <laughs> All right, so this is the neon pink. Just going to try get in nice and close and not upset the cat. I'm guessing, actually no, this colour didn't stain my skin. I did the swatches yesterday and it didn't stain my skin at all. So that's nice. Um, I don't know how good the colouring of this camera is. Because what I see in my mirror is very vibrant bubble gum pink. But the camera is coming up a little bit more orange tone. So I think my camera has a little bit of yellow tone 
but I don't know if that's my screen, like the mobile screen, or if it's going to be that yellow with like the actual recording. I'm just trying to pack that on. I actually thought this was going to be like one really, really intense, like out of the gate, but it actually seems buildable and blendable, which is always nice. You know, surprisingly, there's not been any fallout. I thought I was going to have heaps of fallout, hence why I didn't do my face first. Like I thought I better do my eyes because it's just going to go everywhere and it hasn't. So that's good. Um, I'm going to go in now with the dark purple. You're probably thinking I'm a silly Australian that can't handle the cold. Um, <laughs> when I woke up, it was zero degrees. So um, I got out of bed and it was only one degree Celsius. So yeah, I think it's still only seven degrees. Um... And yeah, I know there's worse. Actually, I got a bit hot and sweaty after eating some really nice hot ramen. But yeah, I just don't want to... I don't feel like getting dressed up in pretty clothes because none of my clothes are really designed for cold weather. Um, and I just don't want to have the aircon on making heaps and heaps of noise. So yeah. I'm okay. I'm nice and warm. I've got the window open, so I've got like the cold air coming in. I have the cat on my lap. It's lovely. Okay, so it the purple blends in with the pink really well, but it's not like going super deep. So I'm just going to sort of blend that into the crease a bit and have it nice and popping like that. Honestly, this blends out so easily. Might even have to be like careful that, you know, if you want a precise color placement, not to blow it out too much. Sorry, I probably also sound terrible because I sound so sleepy. <laughs> One of the nice things about sitting here is you can just hear the birds chirping the whole time. So yeah, I don't think it like darkened the corner up the way I was hoping it would. Um, maybe it just doesn't build on top of each other. Or maybe it's just not a very dark purple. Like I keep wanting it to be a darker purple than it actually is. So um, no, I think that looks good. I just look terrible, that's all. <laughs> Um, okay, I think I'm going to go in with the dark blue now. I'm just going to put this dark blue shade on the lower lash line. So yeah, these um, shadows are very powdery, but it's not like falling onto my skin. It's more like it's puffing up into the air and disappearing. Yeah. I told you this look was going to look crazy, so... <laughs> I wonder if I can just pull it together at the end. I've been on holidays for two weeks now, and I'm going to work for a... training thing. It's just for one hour. One hour training thing. We've got some new technology coming onto the ward and we need to know how to use it. So, um, I mean, I technically don't start work again until this weekend, um, but I'm not on holidays anymore. So yeah, I thought I'd go in make sure I don't uh, do anything stupid. That's very intense. <laughs> um, I don't know if I can pull this look together. I think I will eventually change my shirt. I'm just, 
I'll leave that to last, I think. Okay, so this palette is very easy to work with, very easy. I'm going to go in with this green here, which, you know, caught my eye from the beginning. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Ooh, and how it goes over the purple. I don't know if you can see it as good as I do. Whoa, that really just went. It just went. <laughs> okay, I like this. We've got this. I think because I'm using the green with like pinkies, purples, it's really coming up purple. Um, I think if I used it more with, you know, greens and blues, it might not be as strikingly purple. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm going to continue playing with it and like mixing it with other um, palettes so we can see. Whoa. It just goes for days. Very pretty. Okay, I'm going to just go back in and sort of blend with the pink and purple and try finish the look off i'll be right back okay i think to try bring this dark blue in with this shimmer i'm going to blend that into it i think it's a pink with a green shimmer um just sort of mirror the pink on top because it's very different between the pink and the blue down there use the finger Like, I think it's just too much shimmer to see what's happening. Mm, I think I'm just going to go in with that pink again and see what happens, hey? Yeah. I think this blue and purple, I mean, this blue and pink pretty much made that purple. Mix, 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 mix. Alright, um. Whoa. Alright. Um. Alright, I think. I think that's it for the shimmer, I mean, for the eyeshadows. Now to do everything else. Um, oh, it's so cold. So everything that I have used on my face is going to be in the description box down below, as per usual. And I did take off this orange jumper because I feel like the orange was effing with the colour balance in the camera. Um, I'm really liking how this is coming along, actually. I mean, the pink is very intense. Um, okay, my leg is going dead. The cat is on my I don't want to wake her up, but oh my god. Come on, baby. I just need to get my leg out. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Come back, my child. I love her. I'm sure she'll come. <clears throat> anyway. Um, I quickly want to do my lips first, I think. So this is the color Hydra. Um, I can't remember what they're called. I'm pretty sure it's not called a lipstick. It's called something. <laughs> Sorry, I'll, I'll figure it out and put it in the description box anyway. But yeah, this is the color Hydra. And this is the first product I'm trying from them. So it smells like cocoa like cocoa powder chocolate and let's just go for it uh, it feels super silky um 
Okay. Weird. It feels oily. Like not oily like a lip oil, but it's I don't think it dries down in any way, so I don't know how I feel about it. Like it even tastes oily, like the oil's going into my mouth. Uh, like is it a lip stain? But then it's, it's just gonna come off. I guess with everyone complaining about how much they hate dry lips, this is the path that people went through into. This is the path people went in, yeah, to compensate for that over dryness. So, um, it's definitely not fully opaque. And I don't know how this is going to wear over the next few hours. Um, maybe it will dry down a little bit. I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. Now, I think this is probably the scariest product is um, Dandelion, the glowy blush, because it's a yellow. And I'm definitely not wearing a yellow makeup look at all. I'm very purple right now and gray and pink uh, sorry oh we got a sticky thing take that off and look at that uh let's just go for it oh oh so much that just went everywhere do i tap it off let's see if i can just spread it around the face i need a bigger mirror Oh, I was not expecting so much product to come off. Well, let's try and not waste it. Do I look like a clown? No, I look like a sickly evil demon. Okay. At least it spreads nicely and easily. Um... I think this would have gone better with like a different eye look. Um, I'm very purple right now. Let's just see if I can make it work. And this is why I cannot wear yellow foundations because it looks really gross on me. That's why it really annoys me as an olive skin tone person that I go looking for olive foundations and they're like here's a golden foundation i'm like i don't want golden it makes me look sick um i pretty much learned that i'm more of like a bluey olive um like a bluey cool bluey cool blue olive tone yeah leaning closer to neutral definitely not yellow at all Oh my god, I feel like I'm going to be here for ages blending this in. Did I F up? Maybe. But you know what? Not every makeup look can be perfection. We learn and grow with our mistakes. Alright, I am going to play around with like my bronzer a bit more and try and fix the tone of my face face a little bit I think yeah be right back okay I think that's helped using the bronzer to sort of bring more life into the face because I think I just looked too pale and then having the yellow blush just made me look dead so mm -hmm. So this highlighter is Halo, which is a multi-chrome. It sort of sparkles green, blue, pink. So let's use this brush from Rafa. And I'm 
Yes, I am very clowny. I guess this is making it a little bit more cool tone because I feel like all of this is more cool. It's all cool. I don't know. Oh, whatever. I don't know what's going on. We're just plain. It's definitely giving off more green. That's probably going to save it. Having a bit more green in there than just pure yellow. And let's put that into the brow bone. Shiny, because I'm so shiny. I find it interesting that in Moana, the Your Welcome song became a huge hit and not shiny. Like, shiny is a way better song. Am I being a weirdo putting highlighter in my bold spot? <laughs> Why not? You're back. Come, my child. Let's see what I can do with the lips. Let's see if putting more on is going to do anything. Okay. Uh, this is the finished look. What do you think? Um, I think I look very punk. And I'm really looking forward to playing with this palette more because I just think it's a really pretty palette. I think it's just a really pretty pink purpley palette and I do like the look and I got to play with the colors a bit and I'm looking forward to playing with them more and doing more combos and seeing how like the duochromes and multi-chromes and toppers all work together and um, as much as like this lip is weird I do I still like the color I just need to find a way to make it work because I want it to work and obviously I spent money on it but my my lips look just cracked and dry like it's it's not it's not pleasant and I think in the end I did get the yellow blush shimmery blush to work um but as someone that does not have a yellow skin tone I think it makes me look sickly compared to someone like Angelica Nickvist that like it really suits her because she has a yellow undertone um but overall I'm really happy with my purchase I'm looking forward to playing with this sort of baby satin pink color here and the, even this um sort of nutty color yeah sorry this video has been all over the place um, I'm not in my normal setup I don't have my normal camera 13 um, I'm very rusty I don't even know if I'm gonna upload this to be honest I just felt like I needed to record me using this palette because I've been holding it off holding it off like I'm gonna do a review I'm gonna do a review I'm gonna do a review and I just haven't and it's been like three weeks since I received it so I'm just getting it done and I'll continue playing with it and I'll continue uploading like the looks I make on Instagram and if I do eventually get around to making more videos well I should hopefully it's just been a very difficult few weeks like yeah I was on a holiday but they were pretty horrible holidays so anyway <laughs> let me know if you have the palette down below um, or any other yet other lethal cosmetic palettes and how you enjoy playing with them and implementing them into your collection um, and also if you do have this lip product how do you make it work for you um, and yeah if you have any questions leave them down below I'll happily respond and hopefully I'll see you next time in makeup and science bye